Okay, so my other phone, the timer went off on there, and I have to get that straightened out tomorrow. So I was trying to make it to be a long video, sort of like. So, but let me refresh it on this one to see how it goes. So, so far, I'm making fried chicken, chicken breast. And um, once again, I use this as my batter. You can get this at your local dollar store. I use some smoked paprika, some garlic and pepper, and I use some trimic. And I combine three eggs, stir that up with the seasoning, and also added some garlic and pepper a little bit on the chicken. Now in this bag, I combine that, that seasoning that I just told you about. I added some flour. Mine's just a little wheat flour. Um, and then I'm going to add a little baking soda as well. So let me get my baking soda out. Okay. So get a little baking soda. I'm going to add in here probably about three fourths. Okay. Because I like my chicken crunchy. And this batter is this batter right here, the southern style, is fabulous. Fabulous. And I'm not the type of person that I'll eat the chicken completely off the bone unless it's good. And I'm a white meat person as far as when it comes to chicken. And, and I've been letting my chicken soak in the marinara. So my grease is all ready. So what I have done is I already have my ground turkey meat on, which... I have in the other one, so I'll probably make a short and then make a uh, extended up version. We'll just see how that goes. So the ground turkey meat is on over here on low. Let me go ahead and stir that up. I smell all the goodness, the bell peppers. I was adding garlic because I would usually put garlic in my um, taco meat because this is pretty much what it is taco meat, Chi Chi's taco packet. And, um, and then um, I'm just letting it toast a little bit so that the vegetables uh, and onions can get toasted over here. You know, so. That's what I'm doing for that. The grease is nice and hot and ready. So now I'm ready to batter it. Period. So let's go ahead. Same with that one. Go ahead and give it a shake real quick. And then I'm making the teriyaki noodles with um, gravy and ground turkey meat, okay? Once again, like I said, I sold that on the street, and it sold out pretty quick. Um, definitely like, share, and subscribe to your girl. I'm at 100 subscribers now. And like I said, I haven't been on here like I wanted to be. There's a lot of things going on, but I'm hanging in there, and I want to thank all my supporters as well for hanging in there for me. And I also, once I get everything going, go ahead and put the chicken on uh, in this hot grease. Nicely battered. Ooh. Well, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Nicely battered. And I just used Halloween because that was the first thing I grabbed with the dryers and my flour. So that's the chicken. And you go ahead and lay it down in there. 
can definitely save your batter for another another day. Same with this one. All ready to go. Drop it on in there. Let it sing harmony. Let it sing. Ooh. And you want to have that on medium heat, especially if you want yours well done. So, let me wash my hands. They're such chicken in there, as you can see, oh, medium high, so it has that nice crispiness. It won't fry so hard on the inside as well. Be nice and nice and juicy. Nice and juicy. Juicy. Tender to the touch like me. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you my teriyaki noodles. And generally I get the I don't think I get the beef, but since, you know, it's for me, I'm getting this one right here. And put it in your butter, let it toast a little bit. Okay. I don't, I'm out of butter, so I'm not going to do that. Since I'm out of butter. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my oven, in my microwave, let it go ahead and do its thing. It comes with a sauce pack. When you get the teriyaki beef, it comes with a little vegetable pack, a little vegetable pack. Um, now, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I will, will to make my famous lovely kool-aid you can go at lovely creations 3068 to check out my kool-aid very good nice and frozen and very good so i already put one lemon pack in here get out my dog is you know it's my true support yeah yeah so got the other pack of little kool-aid Let's go ahead and put that in there. I'm having me a little sippy sip while I'm in here. That's probably why I'm sweating. <laughs> That's probably why I'm sweating. <clears throat> Got some lemon juice. I'm going to pour it in here. Yeah, it smells so good in here. So I'm going to put some of that in there. Nice and little amount. I'm going to add this meridian in there as well. My blueberry cranberries in there. And then I'm gonna add I'm gonna go ahead and add my which I had already like cut up. Add these nice juicy, the nice and juicy, keeping all that goodness out. Put that on in there. The last of it. And then I got some real time lemonade with these because if when you do the lemon, it definitely definitely add a um, different taste to it. Okay. Then I'm gonna get the pork for my other one so I can get some of the 
the actual lemon in there. And you can get your, even if the, the, the lemon is still uh, fried in there, you can pretty much, you know, take that out. So we just add a bit of that. I'm sure we get all that juice. Another pineapple. <laughs> woo woo. I think it's going to be left behind. Not today, boo. Not today. Go ahead and squeeze that in the flavor in there. Mm -hmm. Some of that lemon, lemon in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my sugar. I added two cups of ice, and normally I don't have to add ice. I put a whole cup of this um, because that should do it. That should do it. Oh, let me toss my meat. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and. Okay, so now, now my meat. My meat, I can get ready to add the, add the um, water in here. Mm, this smells so good. And I hate that I don't have my shredded cheese. I didn't do the extra stock today. Um, when I napped out, I didn't wait back up to pour something for my, uh, <laughs> adventurous morning. <laughs> so let's turn this chicken over. Yeah. See how it's coming out so far? Let's turn that chicken over. Let's go on this thing. Okay, so now I need to get a bigger spoon out. This is my weak arm from my accident and I'm left-handed, so I gotta just gain my strength, the gravity in my left arm is in that great so keep me in your prayers <laughs> period let it get stirred Then what I'm going to do is add some more ice. I'm going to taste it. Okay. Just right. Just right. That one box of sugar is just right. Go ahead. Add this ice. In there. And then I'm going to be ready to do a mukbang. I'll be ready to do a mukbang. Let me just this off. Clean it and rinse it. Clean it and rinse it. Clean it and rinse it. Like I said, I know I'm going to put the extra ice in there when I do my plates um, and my Kool-Aid's come in this cup with a lid for $3 with the fruits in it, and it is so delicious. Don't knock it until you try it. So if you're in Chicago area, definitely like, share, and subscribe to your girl. You know, see where I'm at. Period. So.
so let's that again. Mm. Mm. Okay. 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 So I want that to sit out for a second because I want all these juices to, you know. Combine, come together, and, and this is awesome. It's awesome. Period. Baking powder up, put that up. This is garbage. And um, and I need to put me another drink. What are you talking about? <laughs> I need another shot, shot, shot. <laughs> Everybody, so okay. So let me go ahead and add this water. I should have put it in a deeper pot, which I will transfer it. I'm gonna go ahead and add the water to that. And add something to my cup. Okay, and I'll go ahead and start these noodles again. So, at the end of the day, so yes, so we got that going, and um. And having me a shot, that's why I'm getting hot in this kitchen at the end of the day. Bop, 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 bop. So, let me catch you up on what's going on with me while we let everything cook. Okay, so I haven't been on here lately because, um, lately my, I had caught arthritis a while ago, so it's like lately when I have the fan or if I'm under my air conditioner, um, my knees tend to get a little crampy. It's not like, like, hurts me, but it's just comforting a little bit, you know, so um, it's like, I haven't been able to go out and cook as much as I'd like to. But lately, like, I think for the past two months, you know, I've been getting out um, probably once or twice, twice a week, maybe three times. Um, and, uh, and my sales haven't been all that great. Depends on what area I go in, if I try new areas. So everybody can get a nice little taste of what my food really tastes like because I really do cook from the heart. And um, so whenever I don't sell all of what I what I um, cook, I feed the homeless. You know, I feed the homeless. I can cook all day from morning to sundown, and I won't eat anything. And sometimes I have to remind myself, you know, to have a snack, you know, so I can, you know, keep my energy up. I'm a people person. I can mingle with anyone. I can get along with anyone. I'm a great sense of humor. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a trick of all trades, period. So, when I say that I need some endorsers, because I have great ideas. I'm like a million dollar investment, you know, that's no doubt, you know. You know, I got, you know, a son and I got nieces and nephews that, you know, look up to me. And at the end of the day, I got other nieces and nephews that haven't seen in a while. Um, and um, and I, I just got a lot of making up to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, life is full of trials and tribulations. You live and learn. You know what I'm saying? So I thank God for where I've been because it would make me the person that I am today. I mean, of course, I'm not where I'm at because, you know, you deal with haters. You, uh, when I come on the scene to cook, you'll be intimidated by me. They'd be intimidated by this chocolate. Fuck you mean, they'd be intimidated. But at the end of the day, I like competition. I like working with people, um, good vibes, positivity. 
comes a long way if we all get on that level and connect. We can do so much and it'd be so powerful. You know, so I walk in faith. I thank God. I thank my mom for putting God in my life. And at the end of the day, um, let me turn this chicken over. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. 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 Damn, I know y'all want some. Trust and believe. When I eat it, I'm going to eat it. I keep eating it too. <laughs> yes, yes. So, yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on with me. You know, gotta get my car fixed. People have been hitting my car most nine times out of ten. Some people may have insurance, some people might not. And in my last case, his insurance, like, we're not dealing with this. So, uh, it ain't easy being cheesy, okay? But, um, no matter what, if I delay for a minute, but I plan to pick it up, I promise you, I plan to pick it up, and um, so I can get my subscribers up in that order, like share and talk about your girl, lovely, this chocolate tender to the touch, all so much, and that's how my food is tender to the touch, not in your mouth, baby, not in your hand. I need my I need my towel. I slay, I slay, I will, and and some. So I want this meat to get done, this ground turkey meat, which I'm gonna get up off my booty and check it. And I gotta go ahead and make the gravy for that. And then I add it to my noodles. And then I can add my um, green chives to it. And generally when I do my stir fry teriyaki noodles, I do need toast them, but I didn't toast it today. I didn't toast it today, but it's not gonna take anything too much away from it. Um, at the end of the day, so let me get up. Let me get up. <laughs> ah, I'm yeah, and um, let me get up out this chair before I get too too comfortable. Ah, period. Okay, and let me turn on this light. We already know Lovely got her her um, Kool-Aid selling it in with the ice in it. It's on chill mode. And um, let's get this all down a little bit. Chicken doing what it do. Chicken doing what it do. Okay. Nice and crispy. Nice and crispy. Okay. Let me turn it back up to medium so I can just do what it do. I'm going to transfer this over to another, another skillet.
like it. We got the onions and the peppers in there. I'm gonna smash that on that. I'm gonna go ahead and take the noodles out of here. The noodles right here. I'm going to go ahead and add them in there. Now, tomorrow I'm going to add some. Now, these already had some vegetables inside of it. So, go ahead and give that a whip. We're going to add the little, the little sauce pack that already came with it. And then I add a little more soy sauce, but this is good because I'm adding the gravy. Add that sauce in there. Okay. Add that in there. Now we're moving on to the flour. Okay. Now it's time to add the flour. The flour on in there. And this is my wheat flour. It's light, lightly brown. So we're going to go ahead and add some of that in there. For our gravy. Alright. And a little. And a little. And a little. And a little. Just a little. Okay. So we're going to uh, mix this on that thing here. Let's see. Mix that on a little bit there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my water. Okay. I'm going to add my water. Make sure I add the vodka. <laughs> Make sure I add the vodka in there. Go ahead and add that water as such. So in this case, I'm going to add two, two cups of water to. Start off, blend it, blend it, all that should just smell good, everything just smells so great, okay, so we got that in there, we are going to go ahead, stir this up for the gravy, you see the bell pepper, the onion, and I'm gonna get ready to mix the chai. And you're gonna you wanna cook this on low. So I'm gonna turn this down at the end of the day. You see how that gravy is just kicking in there? It's kicking in. 
Mm-hmm. And you know once it's set a whole day, how good it be. Okay, the chicken. I'm going to turn my chicken back down. It's all about controlling the levels of the chicken. And I'm going to turn the chicken back down. Nice and crispy. Look at that. Nice and crispy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Woo. -woo. Uh, I tell you, when people eat my food and you don't hear nothing, you don't hear nothing for a minute, you have to be like, you know, wake that shit up. They like, it's nice. I like, thank you. Woo. -woo. So I live for that. That's that's my motivation, because always, continuously, we all, all, all have a trick of a trade that we specialize in, and this is our hustle. So when we're down and out, use that to come up, period. Okay, so everything is gone. Let me turn that down. Let me turn it down. Add some more water. Add some more water. Why is this over here? Is this water? Mm, mm, that's not water. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna add another cup in there. Mm. And I'm gonna add some more paprika. And I'm gonna see if I have a a zavoya cube. Add in there, and like I said, I'll spice it up a little bit tomorrow. I have to get some butter, and um, and I'll probably add um, some um, sweet peas in there. But everything's coming together. And, um, that uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and add my green chives in here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And this is something good for the kids, especially if they like, like noodles or teriyaki noodles. This is something good. Just add the meat or some baked chicken in there. If you look on my YouTube channel, you will see how you can make it in, in about 20, 20 minutes. You know, it don't take long. You know what I'm saying? It's light and delicious. And light and delicious and filling. Let's take that up. Light, delicious, and filling. So, got that in the garbage. And um, now I'm going to wash my hands again. Yeah. Let's go get water out. Let's go ahead and put the rest of my chicken up. Add a little seasoning on it. So, the only thing I have to do is pretty much just go put it in a batter and let it do its thing. Put it in the bottom and then let it do its thing. So, chicken is just about ready. So, let me make sure I go ahead and punch my holes in it. Yeah, that's about ready. Okay. I'm about ready to take that out. I didn't grab any paper towels either, but I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn my chicken off now. This is simmering. I'm going to add a little bit more, uh, like I said, some um, paprika in my... So when you make the, rest, uh, the gravy, you have to add a little bit more to adjust everything. So, okay. Ooh, I voiced my drink, you guys. God dog it. 
Mind of Buddha. Mind of Woo Woo. Oh no. Damn, does that mean that I didn't need it? The fuck? I'm pissed off. So we're gonna go ahead and put that down in there. And what I'm also gonna do for this batter is add some marinara. Princess, my dog is always on deck for alcohol. <laughs> Get some of that to put. Um, you guys will see her when she get her hair cut. She's like, you want some of that liquor? You want some of the liquor on the floor? She's like over to for a haircut. So, I'm at Jaranera Peppers. Add some of that. And of course, some of the oil is going to fall in there. This is really good. This is like, this is what they use on their Italian beef. Chicago famous Italian beef sandwiches or the combos. Very good. You just got to know what you want to use it for. Um, at the end of the day, I'm going to add some more water. And um, I'm going to give it a taste. I'm going to give it a taste it. see what I have to adjust. Mm. 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 Okay. I'm going to leave it just like it is. I'm going to leave that just like it is. I'm going to leave that just like it is. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and let it simmer. I'm going to go ahead and take my chicken out. Let me go ahead and take this chicken out. Look at that. I don't have any paper towel. Say it ain't so. Y'all ready now? I'm gonna take a piece of this in. Who don't? You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Ooh, well, that's some good ass chicken. I can't you not. That's some good chicken. Mmm. 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 Okay, guys. Everything's ready. Real nice, quick meal. And, um, it's ready. Don't that look delicious? Don't you want some? Don't you want some? Look at that. Mm, delicious. Ooh, okay, guys. So I'm going to see you in a minute when I get to eating at the table. Period.